Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back here to another reaction video. And today is sadly going to be the last 30 minute episode of this core for Bleach. And the reason I'm saying this is because I heard the news on Twitter that the last episode, the next episode, is going to be two episodes combined, which is going to equal to a one hour special. I'm like, God damn, bro, Bleach cannot end any better. And this may be an unpopular opinion. Bleach and Chainsaw Man are neck to neck when it comes to my favorite animes this year. Actually, hell no, I lied. Attack on Titan was amazing as hell, too. What the? Hello? Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. The fucking rumbling is here, bro. I fucking hate when niggas call me while I'm watching anime. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Anyways, I've also heard from my friend that he kept hyping it up ever since the last episode aired to like yesterday. Like, this episode is supposed to have like the best flashback in the series. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm a sucker for flashbacks now. As long as it's done right. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into episode 11 of Bleach. Kenpachi little flashback last episode was pretty lit too. Like that man was a straight demon ever since he was small. Really? That's really interesting. I never knew that. I wonder what was like going to be his main objective of like sending him back to like his hometown. Bring on the flashback. There go his father right there too. The hell did he go? Man, dipped off that fast? Damn. After like Usain Bolt or Jesse Owen was in this hole. And I swear that they are 11 for 11 when it comes to the title cards. Like, I'm gonna keep saying it until they miss, which I probably doubt that they ever will. She look, look kind of familiar. You know, bro, how is he gonna get that hole fixed? Like, shit. Okay. Oh, that's his boss. I'm tripping. Who the hell ding dong just them? His damn father. Ooh. Chase his ass down. That all happened so quick. Yeah, what did he left under his towel? Yeah, what he's up to. It's only gotta be a specific reason why he's out in that outfit right now. So something important is about to come. And he already knows that he got kicked out that, um, palace. Oh, we're about to get more revelation of his past. Or someone's past. I'm ready, I am ready, I am ready. His mother was, a uh, what? Ain't he good? Oh, that's his mom. A quick what the fuck? Hold on, let me pause right quick. I should have known that since his father was a Shinigami, that his mother was a Quincy too. I guess I didn't really put two or two together at that moment because when you a boss said that Ichigo was a Quincy too, my mind was just still blown by that. Ah, <sighs> I really love Bleach. Damn. Oh, we having a major flashback. Man at the desk working papers too. Hold on, I'll see what if he capped it. Ah. <laughs> Man, it was treated like a baby, damn near. <laughs> Boy, guilty. So this is before that um his mom found him bloody on the ground, right? Damn. About to get straight up in trouble. Oh, this is about to go crazy. Have no other choice. Damn, bro. How, how many years like the flashback is? Like, shit. Oh, so now we get an Aizen. And Kaname and Genichimaru. Oh, yeah. This flashback is already up there. Just because they included these ones. I'm already getting horny by seeing this man on screen. Pause. Already planted their devilish ass plans to stand, man. This is just insane. I did not expect them to see, like, all three of them at all this episode. Infiltrated y'all ass. I like that little eclipse in the sky, though. Hey, you should go mom pretty bad, though. Hey, ain't that Ashita's dad? Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I said his last name. I'm not good with remembering first names, but it's like Yuteru or something like that. This flashback got to be at least 15 through 25 years ago. 
marrying you, bro. What? So they supposed to get married in the past or something like that? Bruh. Oh, yes, sir. That man's spiritual presence is insane. What the heck? Bro. What the hell is that? That black hollow is a different breed. Hey, I don't know how you're going to defeat this one because damn. Uh oh. Did she felt that from that far away? Oh, so he knew where he was about to head out to, right? So awesome see like the Quincy side of things. That man really throwing it with that hollow. So it's like a hollow, but fights like a soul reaper. Okay, good thing he got came to get some backup. Yo, never mind. That's why, that's why she's a good ass mom. You mean you're heading out? That hollow looks so damn cool. Like Kubo never miss with the designs. Oh, if you do get noticed by Soul Society, he's gonna be in big trouble. Oh, yes, sir. Yo. This nigga, eyes. Oh, wait, so he was the one that created the hollow? Because we did see that in the lab. I'm so stupid. Oh, this is so, so, so awesome. White. Yeah, he's gonna really need some backup. Oh, shit. Hey, I didn't know his dad could get it down like that. But look like he cut off his arm, though, so good shit. But look like it ain't gonna make a difference. Oh, Masaki came in clutch. Oh, she is so badass. Yeah, y'all better pull back, retreat. Oh, never mind, they're gonna watch. Yo. Bro. Why is this so cool? Why she put away her arrow? Oh, she baited him. <laughs> that was, hey. Ichigo's parents was a different breed. Like they are just built different. Oh, so he didn't pick up on the arrow or he didn't see that she had an arrow in her hand that shows that she's a Quincy. Oh, she let him know straight up. Ain't no hiding any secrets. He don't care at all. He's just amazed about what was it was planning on doing. I wonder what his eyes are going to be now. I really want like a whole full flashback of what happened before. Man, already steps ahead. There better be a post credit scene. That's what I thought. The episode ended way too fast. Who's that again? Didn't he appear like in the beginning of this core? Everything but the rain. June truth. I can't believe next week is about to be the last episode of this core. Yeah, this was a pretty banger episode. It's good to see like how did um Ichigo dad and mom got together. Seeing Aizen and his little gang coming into the mix. So if it wasn't for Aizen, would they have ever got together? I don't know. I'm just saying random stuff. I'm really not ready for this core to end, man. Fall season ain't gonna hit the same until like sometime in spring because I go like the april lineup looked pretty stacked anyways if you did enjoy my content make sure you hit the like button it really helped me out a lot and motivate me to make more videos for you guys and i'll catch you guys later